It's day three of the 67th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament. It's not often that Salesian loses two games in a row. Will they avoid the three game losing streak and get back on track? You'll find out next. Happy Saturday, good afternoon, wherever you may be streaming in. I'm Chris Babcock, and it's the seventh place game in the 67th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament live here on NorCal Sports TV from Farmers Hall in Gridley. Well, Salesian lost a tough one to Dublin, 73-63. Sheldon beat Gridley 89-31 in their matchups yesterday. Somebody trying to at least get a win over the weekend. We'll come back more with the 67th annual Gridley Invitational on NorCal Sports TV. Welcome back to Farmers Hall in the Butte County Fairgrounds. First, the starters for Salesian in their home whites, or their road whites, rather. Harris, Jones, Johnson, Sanders, and Loving. Loving, a freshman. Now Gridley in their gold uniforms. Carr, Stokes, Farr, Sanchez, and Garcia are the starters for Coach Ellis. So these teams have matched up before. I believe this is the 14th matchup. And except, all except one game was played in this Gridley tournament. Here's our starters once again. A little graphic working our magic. The starters for Salesian. And then the starters for Gridley.
keys of the game. First for the visiting Salesian Pride, make Gridley play faster than they want to. They usually do that. They haven't the last couple of days. Execute better offensively. They've had a they had a tough time on Thursday executing against the zone. And as always with Coach Mellis in his 24th season, they need to rebound. They only had 26 points in the second half yesterday. Four players, four players combined for 19 turnovers. Keys of the game for Gridley and Coach Ellis. Play hard, play fast, and have fun. I'm Chris Babcock. Thanks for joining us wherever you may be on NorCal Sports TV. We're going to ask you to do a couple of things for us. It won't cost you anything tonight, and we'll get to that on the first dead ball. Our officials, Robbie Sasania, Pete Daniels, and Jeff Kassar. Ball goes to Gridley. Man-to-man -man defense by Salesian. And they'll get on you as soon as you, you get out of your vehicle or bus or wherever mode of transportation. And we've got a palm, carry, whatever you want to call it. It'll be a turnover early on for the Bulldogs. Harris with the basketball. Gridley playing the zone. I like that. Saw success of another team. How do they do against the zone? Like to see some ball screens and some ball movement. Loving with the three. Turnover. And Salesian will go in attack mode. Harris with the putback. Near turnover. And one thing that doesn't, two things that don't slump rebounding and defense. Here's that last put back by Harris. After this, Salesian will have finals next week, and then they go to the Tarkanian tournament where stakes get even higher, literally. So they're looking for improvement today, hit the books, have some practice, and get better for that big tournament down in Las Vegas. 15 on the shot clock. Carr up to the top of the key to Stokes, and it's a steal and showtime. But then Harris, short on that dunk. His teammates will probably razz him on the way home to, tonight. 5 nothing. Gridley still looking for their first basket. And it's much of the same for Salesian, what they did against Dublin, turning over the basketball. And that wasn't by the pressure of the defense. That just was a careless pass. Salesian with the steal. Amani Johnson misses. The offensive putback doesn't go. He'll get another chance if he can recover this loose ball. He does. Then is blocked by the backboard and fouled by Michael Sanchez. Emerson Jones will go to the free throw line. If the defender does not reach over and go straight up, Jones was going to have his shot blocked by the backboard because he was too far underneath the basket to make a, a shot. So it'll be free throws. Jones makes the first. Checking into the game is Aaron Kular, the leading scorer for Gridley. He had 15 against Sheldon, averaging uh, 12 points a game. And I apologize, I butchered his name on Thursday. Talked to him before the game. Gave me the correct pronunciation, and we're all good. 7-0, Gridley. Kular has that one. Looked like it was blocked, but no call. No, the, here's the officials. 
working together, ensuring to get it correct, and saying that Salisha tipped the basketball and it went out of bounds. Shot clock at 24. Picks up his dribble, not a good place to do it. It's gotta be a five call. And then a reach in. Pressure defense is great, but you gotta play defense without your without reaching. There's an example. You've got the player trapped in the corner. You can't reach. You want to make it uncomfortable, but don't reach. It lays it in. Emerson Jones running the court in an easy basket to assist Amani Johnson, the sophomore. Johnson had 11 points and seven rebounds yesterday in that loss to Dublin. In that loss, Salesian led 37-29 at half, then a 13-3 run put Dublin ahead to stay. They took the lead with 4.09 in the third quarter and Salesian could not catch up. And an easy steal and layup by Imani Johnson. A steal, then Gridley gets the ball back and then it's an air ball in the post. They're definitely making Gridley play faster than they want to. Harris with the basketball. He had 15 points, but four turnovers yesterday. Continue with the zone. Easy look for Loving. Side rim. Harris, offensive put back, turnaround. That falls a little short. And the rebound is gobbled up by Sanchez. That three is a far. Loving with the rebound. Harris with the finish. Austin Johnson getting ready to check in for Coach Mellis. Way to come back and get the basketball. Tolman would have been better off shooting the basketball there. Here's Harris's rip through. Austin Johnson checks in. He had 11 points yesterday, six assists, but also five turnovers. So there was a, we mentioned earlier in the game, there was four players that combined for 19 turnovers. They got to clean up that play as the competition gets better and better. Turnover. And talking to Coach Mellis before the game, hey, understand it's tough competition coming into this tournament. They've had a great tradition. It's a chance to get better. And sometimes you have to have humble pie before you eat a little tri-tip. Pressure on the corner. Johnson with the assist. Harris with the power layup. Austin's a capable player. Needs to make more plays like that and better decisions and not turn over the basketball. Certainly he's been a four-year guy for Coach Mellis. Eric Watson checks in the game. Watson, Johnson, Harris, Amani Johnson, and Emerson Jones for Salesian. Kular with the basketball. 
A little double team and it'll turn into another layup. Jones. Johnson, Amani Johnson with the layup. See, Gridley has a couple of players just standing underneath the basket. They're, you aren't going to get the ball. You need to come and meet the basketball. You can't just wait back. You need to flash. You, can, you sit back, this is going to be a, a layup drill. Evan Goodwin checks in for Harris. And Ashton Stokes enters back into the game. Kular, Khan, Stokes, Wallace, and Jones for Gridley. Low block. Johnson. If, if Austin waits a little bit and ball fakes and throws a bounce pass, that's a dunk. Played a little bit too fast there. A ball fake and a bounce pass, and a teammate gets a dunk. You get an assist and don't get a turnover. Good one. We've got a timeout. You're watching the 67th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV. The game, and when the unexpected happens, we are here for you. Muir Orthopedic Specialists are the leading experts in sports medicine, providing comprehensive care at five convenient Bay Area locations. We also offer advanced digital imaging, specialized urgent care, and physical therapy at our state-of-the-art facilities. Our staff puts you first with high-quality, compassionate care. Muir Orthopedic Specialists, here to help you get back in the game. Learn more at Muir. So after tonight's this game we've got in the consolation we've got Sheldon and Dublin third place game is Sacramento and De La Salle and in the championship is Campolindo and Reardon all right here on NorCal Sports TV we appreciate our partners allowing us to bring you all of this action all weekend long. Then we've got to reach in and might be the first opportunity for Gridley to get on the scoreboard. Kareem Jones will get a couple of free throws. The 67th annual Gridley Invitational and Gridley has never won their own tournament this is a high profile, high tradition tournament. When it began year, when it, in its onset was a postseason tournament. Then it's changed to right around this time of the year. And a great tradition. Travel. Alex Quick checks in and then immediately turns over the basketball. Salesian will continue to press. Xander Jimenez is in also into the game along with Logan Coverson. Rebounded by Watson. Salesian will set it up. 21 to 1. There's somebody flashing to the high post. Long three, rebounded by Goodwin, and then we've got double dribble. Less than a minute here from Farmers Hall in Gridley. 
Kular with the basketball. You're not going to beat this team off the dribble. Jones misses. Kular can't handle that pass. And it's a layup the other way. Xander Jimenez assisted by Goodwin. Nice pass inside and a layup. Watson assisted by Coverson. Twenty-five to one at the end of one. You're watching the 67th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV. My favorite part was just competing and meeting new people. You know, I'm always with my team, like practicing in high school. So it was good to come out and meet new people and, play against them. and get like and meet some college coaches. So, yeah. And the dribbling. With uh, the Sacramento Kings coach, that was really fun. Meeting new people, about making new friends. Other games, I, I love playing games. Yeah. Just to be able to practice on my moves. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite part of camp is meeting new people. I've made a lot of friends so far. It's a really great experience here. A bit too powerful. One second, has another shot, puts it up <laughs> to end the game. <laughs> Nails the three. The crowd Here is goes Shiner wild. for three. Yes, look at this. Everyone uh, coming over to congratulate. Literally, ball in the air as the buzzer went off. Do you have Beautiful the chills? Finish. I have the chills. I definitely Look got at that. The I got the goosebumps. <laughs> I really did, too. The Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament is brought to you by Orthopedic Express by GSOS. Golden State Orthopedics and Spine. The Maher Law Group. American Asphalt. NCS TV Sleepaway Summer Basketball Camp. We'll get more after this, the next dead ball. 25 to 1. At 3, goes out of bounds. It'll go to Gridley. Nearly stolen, and then a foul on. Jamo Reed. Don't forget about our NCS TV Sleepaway Summer Basketball Camp. Go to get more information at NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp. Pressure defense, Kular. From long range, front rim, long board to Coverson. He controls it. And it counts. Jamu Reed with the layup, and he'll get a free throw. After this free throw, we're going to ask you to subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash NorCalSportsTV. Let's get to 10,000 before the end of the day. We'll show you a little cute graphic later on. Nearly stolen in the backcourt and then just thrown away. Self-inflicted wound. A click and a click. It's that easy. Subscribe, please. It's all we ask. Won't charge you anything. Won't get your credit card. Won't scam you. Reed set third field goal for him. And five new... Players coming in for Gridley. Don't stop your dribble in the corner. And that's the result. Tolman, Carr, Sanchez, and Garcia for Gridley. High-low action. And it's another easy shot for Salesian. And a steal. Four.
four field goals for Reed. These guys are all asked to do a lot of things at practice. So when they can get a chance to get some playing time, besides that last 90 seconds of the game or something, you're going to build their confidence. And when the 11th and 12th and 13th and 14th men, there's the last layup, are getting better, that's going to push the rest of your players. Basari checks in for Coach Mellis. Little two-man game, but Salesian gets a hand in the passing lane. Next game at 5.30, or <laughs> at 4 o'clock, actually 3.30. I'm on this four-day circuit thing right now. My apologies. At around 3.30... We've got Sheldon and Dublin, a rematch of the 2019 CIF semifinal. And then it's a turnover in the backcourt. So these are things, yeah, I know that Salesian's pressuring them, but you just, those are unforced errors. Skip pass. The three is good by Watson. There'll be a point where Coach Mellis will call off the press. <laughs> Told you. He's already called it off. Reed with five field goals all here in the second quarter. And a flush. For the senior, a little highlight. Lifetime memory here on NorCal Sports TV. Missed shot by far. Rebounded by Jimenez. Too fancy. You, you, it, when you throw a chest pass that close to a teammate, you're not giving him, and he'll probably get credited or discredited for the turnover, but when you throw that pass, his chances of catching it aren't very good. But I'm seeing guys flashing through the paint, so it appears that Salesian has talked about a zone offense. That three is long. So Jimenez didn't want to pick up the basketball because he'd be called for a double dribble. But eventually he had to pick it up because he didn't want to give up a layup. 22 footer goes 23, ball loose. Salesian basketball, Jimenez will slow it up. Good decision by him. You can hear Coach Mella saying, slow it down. Even though he didn't say anything, you could always hear Coach. Three is long. Reed going for a six field goal. Can't get that to fall, and it'll be gridly basketball. You know what's disappointing? Bought a big bag of cough drops. And they have shrunk the size of cop drops, yet they're charging you more price. Capitalism. Not the square kind. It's like the oval size. Nevertheless, foul, and it'll be a couple of free throws for Garcia. Goes up strong. Quick comes down on the arm. A couple of free throws. That's that one.
And for these Salesian seniors, you know, they played this. This is a tradition of coming up here. Chest pass, miss layup. Ball, loose ball will go to Salesian and they'll reset here. That's it. Those are things of sign of good coaching. You know, you get a lopsided game. They could just be chucking shots. They get the offensive on a long offensive rebound and come out and reset versus just chucking up a mid-range shot that maybe you're not capable of making that right now. That rattles home. Good one. Mellis, nine NCS titles, two CIF titles, going for career win, 573 today. Kular, air ball, rebounded by Goodwin, and then sloppy pass, intercepted by Carr. Nice drive to the basket, and it falls. Carson Wallace, strong to the hoop. See, got a triple threat position, wasn't in a big hurry, and got the job done. Pretty shot, pretty move. Now that's a, how you beat a zone defense. High post entry, face the basket, little triangle offense, and Pride's up 40. While this game's going on, their varsity football team is playing in the CIF 6A championship against Arlington at Salesian. Air ball. Kular possesses it at the three-point arc, eight on the shot clock. Wallace figures, what the heck? I was successful once, let me try it again. Draws the foul. I mean, you stay straight up, you intimidate the shot, it's not gonna go in, but you, when you come out and cross, try to block it, Coming across your opponent, it's going to get called every time. So Wallace with his third point here. And he's perfect from the free throw line. Smart move by Watson. Seeing how things were compacted in the paint, went out to the wing and hit the wide open J. Wallace has, he's got a, a plan of attack. He'll get a couple of more free throws. See, when they're overplaying and pressuring like this, th there's a opportunities to go to the basket. You might, might not necessarily make the shot, but you draw the foul. Wallace with another free throw.
We got that on replay. Basari gets the rebound, but then he brings it down low where everybody can swat at it and deflect it. Keep that ball at chest high. Forty-six to eight, Salesian Orthopedic Express by G S O S Golden State Orthopedics and Spine, the Maher Law Group, American Asphalt, NCS TV Sleepaway Summer Basketball Camp, our NCS TV Winter Hoop Circuit. Session 2, the 18th and 19th info and team registration, NorCalSportsTV.com slash WHC and Straight Sports, STR8Sports.com. STR8Sports.com. Appreciate all of our partners. And one reminder, subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash NorCal Sports TV. We're going to take a brief audio break, play you some commercials, and we'll come back with the second half of the seventh place game of the 67th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV. To play the game and when the unexpected happens we are here for you muir orthopedic specialists are the leading experts in sports medicine providing comprehensive care at five convenient bay area locations we also offer advanced digital imaging specialized urgent care and physical therapy at our state-of-the-art facilities our staff puts you first with high quality compassionate care muir orthopedic specialists here to help you get back in the game learn more at muir or How was camp for you, Blake? It was really fun. Yeah. What was your favorite part of NorCal Sports TV's summer basketball camp? The atmosphere. Just being out here, feeling close to nature. Like, I woke up in the morning from getting my award uh, for the 6 a.m. practices. I woke up in the morning, I saw three deer just pass by. I got a video. It was really cool. And I love the atmosphere. I love the coaches. I love everybody here. Everybody's here to get better. Everybody's here to have fun. And, you know, I like the competitiveness as well, so...
Orthopedic Express by MOS is there for you when that unexpected injury happens. Located in Walnut Creek, Orthopedic Express has orthopedic experts providing specialized urgent care when patients need them the most. Same day appointments and walk ins welcome. Go to MuirOrtho.com for more information. Orthopedic Express by MOS. Get the urgent care you need at your convenience. My favorite part was just competing and meeting new people. You know, I'm always with my team, like practicing in high school. So it was good to come out and meet new people and play against them and get like and meet some college coaches. So, yeah. And the dribbling with uh, the Sacramento Kings coach that was really fun. Meet new people, <laughs> uh, making new friends. Other games, I, I love playing games. Yeah. Just to be able to practice on my moves. Uh, my favorite part of camp is meeting new people. I've made a lot of friends so far. It's a real great experience here. A bit too powerful. One second. Has another shot. Puts it up. To end the game. Nails the three. The crowd Here is Shiner wild. for three. Yes, look at this. Uh, Everyone coming over to congratulate. Literally ball in the air as the buzzer went off. Do you have Beautiful the chills? Finish. I have the chills. I definitely look got the chills. Look at that. I got the goosebumps. <laughs> I really did too. What's your favorite part of this camp so far? Uh, my favorite part is meeting new people, such as teammates and old friends that came earlier. Um, I really like the one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, the coaches really uh, tried to get like the connections with the, the kids uh, during the camp, so I think that was a really good part of it. I liked um, the drills, the ball handling drills and shooting drills. Uh, I think, you know, one thing that's very underrated here at the camp was like meeting new people because I thought, personally, I thought there was going to be like very little people here from all around here, but there's people from Oakland, there's people from Atascadero, way far, and you know, just got to meet new people. I really liked it. I was enjoying it. Was, it was fun. to play the game and when the unexpected happens we are here for you Muir orthopedic specialists are the leading experts in sports medicine providing comprehensive care at five convenient bay area locations we also offer advanced digital imaging specialized urgent care and physical therapy at our state-of-the-art facilities our staff puts you first with high quality compassionate care Muir orthopedic specialists here to help you get back in the game learn more at Muir or
getting ready to start the second half here. First scoring for Salesian. Reed with nine. Jones with eight. Evan Goodwin with seven. And Wallace with seven led. Gridley. Our 5.30, or, or start this one more time, our 3.30 game will be Sheldon versus Dublin. Kular will start the second half. Little high-low action is intercepted and stolen. Harris Jones, Sanders, Loving, and Amani Johnson, original starting five for Salesian. Jones is fouled. Stokes, Tolman, Wallace, Kular, and Sanchez. We'll start the second half for Coach Ellis. Splits the free throws and Kular with the rebound. I'm Chris Babcock. Thanks for joining us for the 67th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament. Third and final day, Kular, back rim. Sanders goes for the rebound. He had eight boards in the game last night against Dublin. Loving the freshman, they'll swing the ball around. I would imagine the Salesian's going to see a lot of zone defenses here this season. Good cross-court action. Loving changing his sp spacing from the right side to the left side. Hits the shot. You're watching the 67th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV. Need an aggressive and persuasive criminal defense attorney in Contra Costa, Solano, or Napa County? Contact Vincent R. Maher, attorney at law. You can benefit from the dedicated advocacy of an attorney who's one of the rare criminal trial lawyers in the state to be a specialist certified by the California State Bar. Contact him at 707-427-2800. 707-427-2800. Vincent R. Maher at the Maher Law Group, a professional corporation. Orthopedic Express by MOS is there for you when that unexpected injury happens. Located in Walnut Creek, Orthopedic Express has orthopedic experts providing specialized urgent care when patients need them the most. After the timeout, it's 50 to 8. Salesian here, third quarter. Kular, the wing, air ball. Wallace needs to throw it and shoot or do something, and it's a turnover on the shot clock violation.
Almost turned it over. Salesia needs a better job of passing paint to paint, paint to paint passes. Harris off mark with that shot. Tolman gets it underneath, but Jones showing his wingspan steals the basketball. Loving. Oh, Wilsonberger served back hot and then a foul underneath. You can see the coaches of Salesian that bring Loving over and talking to him about when he's catching that pass, being a triple threat position and a threat to do three different things versus just settling and making the quick pass, flowing, ball faking, creating seams which are enabled your teammates to get open close to the basket. The closer you get to the basket, the higher your sh shooting percentage is, Captain Obvious. Sanders at the line. And it's 51-8. to eight. A steal. And when we were out at the in the hospitality area, area which they have soft serve ice cream. Enough said. There was a, a father and a son, young son, and he was getting ice cream. And I said, an ice cream and a basketball game all in the same day. And he says, Yeah, he's he's sad because his the player that stayed at hits the three is Johnson. The player that stayed at his house is leaving after today. So that's the connection of this community with this tournament. These families house these players and give them a taste of, of what Gridley is like. Here's that last three. And they endorse and wrap and commit themselves to this tournament every single year. Take a snapshot of the folks that are sitting to our left and we'll be here next year and probably be sitting in the same spot. That's the beauty of it. So they get to see areas of the state that they have, won't, probably would have never come up to. If Salesian could duplicate possessions like that throughout the season, they're going to be in good shape. A lot of patience, kind of probing the defense, but not being in a hurry and being careless with the basketball. It seemed that every action had a purpose. That three off the back rim and Sanders doing what he does best and hit the defensive glass. And we've got a reach in, and it'll be five new players coming in for Coach Mellis. Alex Quick, Logan Coverson, Eric Watson, Reed. Ajamu had nine in the second quarter. Gridley has yet to substitute. Now it looks like Khan and Witt will come into the game for Coach Ellis. Salesian 1-2. and two. Lost to Reardon, which one of their poorest offensive outputs I've ever seen of them. Lost to Dublin 73-63, and then here in the seventh place game, and They'll go home, as we mentioned earlier, with the finals, and then have a trip to Vegas for the Tarkanian tournament. No 
Nice flash in the paint by Goodwin. Got to make those count when you work hard to get the basketball. Here are flash, squares, and got to hit that shot. Don't fade away. Go towards the basket. See if the Bulldogs get a little offense going on this possession. He's having a solid game, Carson Wallace. He has nine of the ten points scored by Gridley. Coverson finds Goodwin, misses the layup, so he blows his assist, but then Goodwin tips it back in. with the steal and the layup. Rinse and repeat. Quick, quick, quick. Hit the three, young man. That doesn't fall, long rebound to Eric Watson. Good action that time. Continue moving. They're staying stationary. Quick misses, rebounded by Watson. And Coverson will try to get try to reset the offense with a Fresh shot, shot clock. Goodwin dribbles it off his foot. Quality pass along the baseline, but gets in a little bit of a hurry. Ebo Wilson, number 32, 6'9", sophomore, checks in. Taiwo Basari also into the game. And Jimenez will enter. Closing moments of the third quarter here from Farmers Hall in Gridley. High post entry, attack mode. Nice work, Michael Sanchez. Turn and face, triple threat position. Nobody defends you, attack mode. Job well executed. Jimenez misses the eight footer. Sanchez with the board. Wallace, bad pass across the paint. And that'll be the third quarter. 52 12, Salesian. You're watching the 67th Annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV. What's your favorite part of this camp so far? Uh, my favorite part is meeting new people such as teammates and old friends that came earlier. Um, I really like the one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, the coaches really uh, tried to get like the connections with the, the kids uh, during the camp, so I think that was a really good part of it. I liked um, the drills, the ball handling drills and shooting drills. Uh, I think, you know, one thing that's very underrated here at the camp was like meeting new people, because I thought, personally, I thought there was going to be like very little people here from all around here, but there's people from Oakland, there's people from Atascadero, way far, and you know, just got to meet new people. I really liked it. I was enjoying it. It was really fun.
62-12 Salesian basketball to start the fourth quarter. Steele, Reed, and the flush. He's got 11. You know what's great? He'll have this game to watch forever archived on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. We've got to travel. Speaking of that, subscribe to our YouTube page. We'll show this dunk first. Nice pass down court. And the layup. Quick. Notice the defense wasn't looking at him. And if you're back, if you've turned your back to the basketball, shame on you. That three is short, long rebound, back to far. Misses again. And then Wilson... Should do this never again. Just get the rebound. Just get the rebound, secure it, and throw it to a guard and allow them to do their job. Wilson, a sophomore, six foot nine. Off to the left, long rebound to Coverson. He'll push it up to Reed. Down to Wilson. So in film study, the coaches say, that's why we don't want you dribbling the basketball. Pass it and reset and go up. Don't dribble. But size doesn't slump. Ball out of bounds to Gridley. So far as history goes here at this Gridley tournament, Jay Olson is the alt is scored the most points in the three day tournament. Wilson misses the reverse layup. That was in 1968. That was 105 points. Of course, that was before the three-point arc came into effect. Busari with the layup. Second is Stefan Harris of Burbank, and then Gary Anderson of Boucher in 1967 had 103. Didn't put the ball on the floor and turn it over. Good job. You can't camp in the key. So the reason we mention that is Courtney Anderson of Dublin has 67 points through two games. Now, obviously, you'd have to have a real big game against Sheldon to tie or beat that record. But it's worth noting. That's why it'd be a great reason to watch our second game, our third game, and our fourth game today. Here from the GIBT. 68-13, and of course, in the history of Gridley basketball, Isaac Austin is, in my opinion, the best player in the history of this high school. Second round pick of the Utah Jazz in 1991. The layup can't fall hustling down court put it up and it goes Kareem Jones running the court gets the offensive rebound goes up strong and gets fouled by Reed we got a running clock here at Farmers Hall we've got a new third camera operator so Sometimes it might be out of focus. <laughs> he, 
Like he doesn't have enough difficult job as it is. Let's give let's put Dion on the third camera. Appreciate everything he's done to bring this tournament together. And our camera guys, Dante Washington. And Mr. Kelly working his magic. So appreciate their support. 68-14, running clock. Tolman nearly has it intercepted by Jimenez. Appreciate our officials, Robbie Sasania, Pete Daniels, and Jeff Kaiser. Kular misses. He's averaging double figures. He has not scored yet tonight. And I say that, oh, he misses. Wilson learns his lesson and outlets the pass to a teammate. Then underneath the basket, the big fella with a layup. And you could see how well he is liked by his teammates. All standing up when he got the layup. Fade away. Can't get the hometown roll. Was Wallace. Quick, checks the clock. Good ball movement. The over almost overthrew Wilson, which was which isn't easy to do. Nice entry into the post and a layup. Basari. So this will make that trip back to Richmond a little bit easier. Kular misses. And Quick will push up the court. That's a long fall for the big fella. Wallace and double figures for Gridley. And they'll close this one out as Salesian gets the 72 to 16 win over host Gridley. Appreciate both coaches' help in preparing us for this game, and hopefully it was reflective in the broadcast. So we'll close this game out here from Farmers Hall where Salesian beat Gridley 72-16 to capture seventh place in the GIBT. You've been watching the 67th annual Gridley Invitational Basketball Tournament on NorCal Sports TV, presented by our NCS TV Sleepaway Summer Basketball Camp. Once again, thanks to our crew, Vincent Kelly, Dante Washington, my director, Dion I. I'm Chris Babcock. Here in Gridley, good afternoon, and thanks for being on the show.